we have to constantly watch that God has opportunities for us. Because you could pass up something that could be very wonderful that came from him. And you could reason it away, well, that doesn't seem to fit, or I'm too old for that, or I'm too young for that, or I'm not spiritual enough for that. And you can reason away those opportunities. So I want to share two big opportunities I have that are coming my way. And I just love it. I have an opportunity to take the word of God and healing Listen, to Saudi Arabia, I've never done that there. And also, I have it for Pakistan. Now, that's at that end of the world, and that end of the world, you know, well, you're a woman, but <laughs> I'm an old woman, and they like old women. <laughs> so I fit very well, and I have been there enough that I have a reputation that I love Muslims, that I believe Jesus loves them, that healing is available to them, and of course, salvation is available. So to me, I just think, oh God, how good you are to me. I think I'm your pet, so that I would get to do this. And at my age, you know, folks, I'm going for 90, almost 90. Hmm, that's a big deal. So I want you to be a part of this with me, that we're going to take the word to the world. The word can change anything. And I have known that since I was 11 years old. At 16, I got born again. And man, I really began to get into the word. And I have loved the word, lived the word, you know, gone through all kinds of situations, good and bad, with the Word, and it's absolutely wonderful. So I want you to be a part of something that I'm really excited about doing. I have an opportunity to have a healing meeting in Saudi Arabia. And of all things, it's an imam who is setting it up for me. And I've known him and his wife for a long time. Are they born again? Mm, I doubt it. Though the, the wife has really received a healing miracle, so I don't want to reason it away. But they are friends. They like me. I like them. And I like the opportunities I get through them. They are awesome. And so they have an opportunity for me to go into Saudi Arabia and have a healing meeting. Now, let me tell you something. I don't compromise anything. You know, I've been doing this international evangelism for a long time. I give the whole plan of salvation, how much Jesus loves them, how much he loves their nation. I mean, it's the whole deal. I would say the whole schmear to some people. So when I share this with you, I have an opportunity to go into Saudi Arabia and have a healing meeting. Now, I've never had that before. You say, well, why do you think you have it now? Because some way, many Muslims believe in old women. They respect them. I'm an old woman. And so they think it's okay for me to come and talk to them. And I've had some experiences doing this, and they're just out of this world. I think, oh, it must be heaven knocking at my door. You know, it's such a big thing. So to have a meeting in Saudi Arabia and an imam, a leader of a mosque who's very respected, setting it up is awesome. And his wife is a friend of mine too, and God has healed her. So, you know, these open doors, and as I say, as an old woman, some way they respect me, and some way they trust me. And Saudi, of course, is right by Pakistan, so I'll just do both. I'll have a healing meeting in Pakistan, and I've been into Pakistan numerous times and had healing meetings. And so going back will really be something. Now, when I do these, and I've been doing them for a long time, long time, and I've seen 
how can I tell you this? The process of God. You know, I loved foreign languages. I was a foreign language teacher. I never dreamed I'd be a foreign evangelist. I never dreamed my husband would be called into the ministry. So when you watch the process of God, it is just awesome how these things go together. Why do you like foreign languages? Why do you feel called to do something like this? Why, when you married your husband and he's so turned on to God, God began to turn you on and began to turn me on to nations. How about that? So I want you to see that. Now, opportunities. I took an opportunity and my husband, when we started in the ministry, to help Daisy and Taylor Osborne. They were doing international meetings. Now, did I think I would be involved in it? No, no, I just really appreciated them and appreciated God's call in their life. But you see, folks, when you get involved in these things, you don't know what is in the process. And I'm gonna tell you, you don't know what's in God's process for you. So don't tell me you're too young, too old, too stupid, anything. I don't care. You're not too anything, but too spiritual and too loved by God to use you in a special way. And maybe it's a next door neighbor. You know, maybe it's someplace in the grocery store. How do you know? Just be available. Could I pray with you just to be available before we go on? Father, I just pray for everyone who's watching this Facebook to just be available, to love on people, to share Jesus with them. And folks, and Lord, I thank you that we don't have to be perfect. And sometimes we may do it in a rude, crude, uncouth way, but you use it because it comes out of the love in our heart for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, going to Saudi Arabia, that will be an expensive meeting for me. I mean, they, they don't just say, whoopee, this is all free. You know, it'll probably be easy, a $20 million meeting. But who knows how many thousands of people we'll have there. And we have a sneaky follow-up. And that's so important. So keep that in mind. So in Saudi Arabia, Oh, yes, we have an imam who's helping us set it up. But we have the power of the Holy Spirit. And people will be healed. People will be born again. People will be transformed. And it's not free. It's expensive for me to travel. I have two or three people who have to travel with me to help me set it up. So, you know, it gets expensive. So perhaps we have at least 20, 25,000 in that meeting. Would God use you to sow a seed? Because we, we get as much mileage out of it as we can. So I'm going to go from Saudi to Pakistan. They're right there together. And I've had many meetings, healing meetings in Pakistan. So that will be what an honor. And we have big, big crowds. One time, one time, and I'm telling you the truth, but my hand on my heart, we had a million people come to a healing meeting in Pakistan. And you say, and a woman? Yeah, they think old women are good. <laughs> and I wasn't that old then, but they came, and God honored my faith and walk in Him. So that's going to be, you know, money that we need and I need you to help me with. And every gift is important. You say, well, I can't do more than $100 or I can't do more than $1,000 or I can do a $20,000 gift. I can do a big thing. That seed that you sow is going to be used in the hearts of people to be born again, spirit-filled, Delivered from demons. That's right. It's going to be a big, big thing. Because not everybody is just saying, Oh, I want to go to Pakistan. I want to go to Saudi Arabia. 
And so when we get to go, and I have a good reputation, they love me. I love them. And so you are really sowing a big seed of his love. And you say, well, I would like to do something, not for Saudi Arabia, but for Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan, I have huge meetings. And probably that's going to be another 25, 30,000. But folks, with the fruit that remains and what we do for follow-up is out of this world. So you say, well, what, what do you want me to do? I want you to click, <coughs> excuse me, donate and tell what you want to donate. <coughs> and now if you're saying, well, I don't know if you'll really do it. You know better than that. <coughs> I've been doing this for years. And so, <coughs> I'm sorry I'm coughing. I really have to have some water. Thank you so much. <coughs> that helps. I don't want to cough in your face. And so, <coughs> I've been doing this for a long time. I've gone to 156 nations. But the nations where I am the most accepted are Islamic. I don't know why. I don't have the vaguest idea. You know, my last name is Hickey. My maiden name was Schweitzer. That's German. Hickey, I think, is Irish. But God calls us and does special things for us. Would you like to see God bless you with a special seed? The first miracle seed I ever had, I had spoken at a conference in New York State, and they received an offering from our radio. I only had radio then, and it was very long, like five minutes every weekday. And so the pastor said, you know, we're going to give you this offering, but they didn't. They never sent it. And I called, I wrote. Oh, they're going to do it. They never did it. And the Lord said to me, if you would sow it, you could reap something. But if you just get unhappy about it, you're not going to reap anything. So I said, okay, Lord, that's my first offering for my radio. I'm going to sow it. I give it to them. It's theirs. And folks, from that time on, God has met me in miraculous financial ways. You know, here I am, I'm an old lady. I'm still sowing and reaping. I'm still going and seeing wonderful results. People healed, people born again, people changed, people transformed. And the world I think right now is very open, very open. And it seems to be very open in these Muslim countries to old women. So let's just pray right now what God would have you do. Father, I pray for everyone watching this Facebook that you would give them an amount to sow. They would be faithful to sow, and we know they'll be faithful to reap. And we know that there will be a lot of people born again and spirit-filled and healed and delivered in Jesus' name. And I, I just want to pray for everyone watching this right now. So, Father, you know every one of us. You know the challenging time the whole world is in. But it's just a big opportunity for a miracle time for you. So I'm calling in miracles from the north, the south, the east, the west. And I'm calling in results that this is not going to be just some little thing. It's going to be big, big, big. Because all of us who are responding, hey, we're big believers. God bless you. Hang in there. Stay in faith. Believe God for big things for yourself, your family, your church, your city, your state. And for me in these communities.